Hi, this is Sahana. In our today's session, we are going to learn lazy loading in HD Framework Core. There are different ways we can load related data. In our previous sessions, we have discussed eager loading and explicit loading. Today, we are going to discuss lazy loading. Look at this example. We are trying to retrieve manager. Here, manager is our main entity and we are trying to display respect to employees. In this case, employees is the dependent entity. We haven't used eager loading or explicit loading. We are just trying to retrieve data and we are trying to access dependent entity. I'll just try to run this application and let's see what happens. We have error because employees is null in this case. We are able to retrieve managers, but if you look at the data, employees is null. In this case, employees is the dependent entity. Now let's understand how to load related entity with lazy loading. In case of lazy loading, related data is loaded from the database when the navigation properties exist. There are two different ways we can implement lazy loading. One is lazy loading with proxies. Second one is lazy loading without proxies. We are going to discuss lazy loading with proxies as it is one of the simplest ways to implement lazy loading. We can implement lazy loading in two simple steps. First step is to install the new web package microsoft.entityframeworkcore.proxies. Second step is to call the method use lazy loading proxies. Okay, let's open package manager console. You can go to tools, then you get package manager, or you can right click on the project. You can say manage NuGet packages. Now search for Microsoft.EntityFrameworkCore.Proxies. Select this one. Then install. I'll open packages. See, we have installed proxies. Now second step is to call the method. Open AppDB context file. In our project, this is inside data folder. Here we have important method on configuring. Before calling this use SQL server method, I will call the method use lazy loading proxies. That's it. Save the application. Now I will run this application. If you look at the application, we still have error. The reason is we have installed the NuGet package. That is okay. And we have called use lazy loading proxies. Even that is fine. Okay, there is one more change that we have to do. All these navigation properties should be of the type virtual. In this case, I will open manager. Here we have manager. Employees is the navigation property. This is public eye collection. We should make it virtual. Even in employees, we should make this property. We should make this navigation property virtual. Always remember entity framework code will enable lazy loading for any navigation property that is virtual. I will make this employees navigation property virtual. I'll open employee class. Here we have manager. I'll make it virtual. Same way I'll make rest of the navigation properties virtual. Let's run our application. See, we are able to display related data without any error. If we have to talk about advantages, then this simplifies our code by automatically loading related entities when they are accessed. And it reduces memory usage as related entities are loaded only when they are accessed. Disadvantage is it may introduce additional performance overhead as each lazy loading request requires additional round trip to the database, especially if the navigation property or related entity is accessed frequently. With this, we have covered all the three approaches to load related data. If you are interested in all the videos, you can visit my channel. There you will find the playlist titled Entity Framework Core. You will find all the related videos. That's it for today's session. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.